clip. So today's video is gonna be a pretty raw video. And this video is inspired by two things. So the first one is Exoticals United because every now and then I like to listen to some of her videos, like some of the older ones. And I came across this one that was called Men Who Look at Other Women. And um, I wanted to make the video about this because a recent situation happened with me where, and it's not just one incident. This is a series of incidences where my boyfriend always does this to me like he did this to me last night um randomly bringing up holly berry when we were looking at a whoopi goldberg um because whoopi goldberg whoopi goldberg was in a movie we were watching and for some reason he felt the need to say uh you know um holly berry used to be one of the hottest girls in hollywood and whoopi goldberg was considered one of the ugliest girls in hollywood i was like why did you feel the need to to bring Holly Berry into this. You could have just said she was looked at as an unattractive woman in Hollywood. He was trying to imply that she's not really ugly. Um, but for some reason, he felt the need to bring up Holly Berry. And he does this all the time. Like, he'll randomly bring up how attractive another girl is. And I'm sick of it. Like, why do they do this? And also, like, do y'all think it's really okay for y'all man to be with you in public and to be staring at another girl's butt or to be looking at another girl in general while you are supposed to be in his presence. Like, that is so disrespectful to me. They'll pretend they're not looking when they try to pretend that they're brushing off their neck or whatever when they're looking. Like, I see you. And it's just so disrespectful to me. To do it in front of me, imagine act that because it makes me wonder what you do behind my back you know it's almost like and i keep I heard her exotical say like it's a humbling tactic and i can believe that because lately he's been feeling insecure about me and he'll say little projectional things that make me feel like he feels like me at work makes him feel insecure because i have pretty privilege at work so guys always want my number and stuff and I notice whenever he all feels uh, when he feels a type of way, he will say something like that, and I feel like he does it on purpose. Sometimes he even emphasizes on how beautiful she is, almost like he's trying to push my buttons or something like. And I know it should be, and I know it's a humbling tactic because, like, you know how people project onto you how they really feel, so. Uh, the other day we were having a conversation about who was it i think it was kobe kobe bryant and um he was telling me some random story about kobe bryant and how he gets invited to all these big parties but he has enough discipline not to indulge in activities with other like groupies and female and party type stuff right and I made a comment to him and I said, that's the stuff I worry about with you. Because he's a he's a uh, underground rapper. And um, that's the stuff that I'd be worried about when he gets, if he gets big, that he'll have groupies, right? And then he said, because I'm trying to be an actress, it's going to be the same with you, but worse. It's like, but worse. And so I like, so you know how I'm going to feel? Because he was trying to make it seem like how I was feeling. Like the entire conversation that he was saying about Kobe Bryant, that was the only thing that I noticed about the conversation was the groupies. He said that. And I was like, like trying to demean how I'm feeling about what was heard. And I'm like, so you know how I'm going to feel. If that's how you feel about me potentially making it and having fans. And you thinking it's going to be worse is the projection part to me because why do you think it's going to be worse? Like, so is that something you think about too? Like, you know what I mean? I just have to look at it as like, if he's always trying to humble me with this, talking about other girls and stuff, then he's, he's probably sees me bigger than what I am. Like, he puts me on... 
Like, I'm probably that girl, basically, is what I'm saying. I have to be that girl for you to be trying to humble me in the first place. And you're supposed to be my boyfriend. I don't know why. I do know why I stay. Because I am stuck. I've tried to break up with this guy a whole a whole bunch of times. But I, he won't leave. It's one of those situations where he has to leave because the house is in my name. The apartment is in my name. He has to be the one to leave. But he won't leave. He's talking about I'm not going nowhere. Like, I don't want to, at this point, I know I don't want to be with him anymore. But he won't leave. It's just frustrating me. Because he keeps doing stuff to hurt me. But he wants to stay with me. It doesn't make sense. I'm at a point, like, like, I be wanting to, like, give the cold shoulder. Like, I, I even respect him not to, like, say other men are attracted back. But I noticed the last couple of weeks I caught myself doing it. Because I'm not playing with him anymore. I'm sick of it. Like, I respect you not to talk about how attractive I think a guy is, how much money he has, how big his, how much abs he has. I don't do none of that to you. But if I, <laughs> it's just, he, and he's one of those dudes that believes double standards are okay. Like, we just had a conversation. We had an argument about double standards the other day. I forgot what the, the double standard was. I think about men having female friends. I forgot what the double standard was, but he's one of those guys that will defend a double standard when a woman is at the bottom. Like, and I'm just so sick of it. And I dealt with this in my last relationship. My last relationship, I had to check him. And I checked him and he understood where I was coming from and he understood and he never did it again. But this relationship, it's like he get, he doesn't care that it bothers me. And, but he always say he loves me. But the, it's not giving love if you don't listen to me. Like we always get into arguments about him not listening to me. Is it normal to be bothered by that? I mean, I guess it is normal, right? I'm not over. I'm not over dramatic or being. Like, it, do y'all, as women, do y'all feel like it's okay when y'all do, if y'all do have a man that does that to you, does it bother you this much as it bothers me? Like, I'm, like, like I want to give him the cold shoulder so bad, like, all day. Like, that's how I feel. I just don't get it. I mean, I'm starting to understand it as a humbling tactic that they use when they're feeling insecure. But, like... Not everybody deserves that type of shit. Like, I know I don't deserve it. I know I treat him with respect. You know, the one thing that bothers me and you're going to keep doing it, that's not love in my eyes. And I really have to start standing up for myself and what bothers me, no matter how little it may seem. Because he'll always say I'm tripping or I'm being insecure. And it's like... If it's bothering me, it's bothering me. Stop it. Is it really hard to stop? Because you, you don't need me for none of that. You don't tell me how much you want to fuck another bitch. You go. You don't need me for none. Go be single for all that. Like, If you want to be with somebody, respect them or leave them alone. For real. Like, it's, like men, if y'all listening, why do y'all do that? Why do y'all do that to us? When, I know y'all be doing it on purpose. Wait, I got a girl, and y'all talking about, y'all know that bothers us, but y'all still do it anyway. Like, we do not like it. How would y'all feel if one of your girls was like, that that dude got more money than you, or that dude got a whole bunch of money, and, you know, I just, ooh, he's so sexy, like, <laughs> it's just so, men are so interesting, I'm trying to tell you. Like, I'd rather be single for all this pain that I have to deal with. I don't care how little it may seem, it bothers me, period. I would never do nothing that bothers you no matter how little I thought it was. Well, I guess such a relief to have this um, Rant Booth series because it's like a relief to relieve. Um, just to vent and rant, like I needed to vent real bad about that. And I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm one of those type of people who usually keeps stuff in and bottles it up until one day I explode. But, you know, you need to let things out, and it does help. It really does help. I'm starting to feel a lot better. Like, like I was so triggered. I had to check his Instagram to see if he was talking to other females. And I just don't, I don't know. 
I, I, I'm very insecure in our relationship, and I've been that way. Because even when we, because there was a point in time before we moved to California where we were staying in Vegas for like a week before we had to get our house or whatever. And this dude be looking at the females in front of me like, what is wrong with him? Like, it was a group of girls walking past us, and he was acting like a single dude. Like, trying, like I cannot deal with niggas who don't respect me. I don't understand dudes like that. I like, I pay the bills. Like, I'm the one taking care of you. I might as well have two kids. Like, this dude, like, I swear. Like, if I could move, like, if the lease wasn't in my name, like, I would have been left this relationship. I'm so glad I'm anonymous, too, because I could just talk about whatever. <sighs> I just don't understand him. He does this all the time, and he doesn't stop, and I don't think it's going to stop. So I have to make a decision. What am I going to do? I'm not at a point where I'm about to just kick him out. Like, <laughs> I don't care where you go. Just get out of my life. I'm just, I'm past that. I'm over it. I want to be done with the relationship. I just feel like I'm stuck in this relationship. Because he's also attached to my son, which is not his. But he's attached to him. They have a relationship. And it's, it's all kinds of weird. And we have dogs together. One dog is his. One dog is mine. They're brother and sister. So if we break up, it's just going to be a hot mess. Like, I, just, I don't know. I'd rather be with somebody who doesn't make me feel bad more than good. Like, if a dude makes you feel more bad than good, you need to cut him off. Because I used to be very insecure, so I would let men treat me any old kind of way. And ever since I've been working on my self esteem, like, I'm not going for the same things that I used to go for. I'm not doing it anymore. Is are way better than that. Like I didn't know my own value until this past I mean this past year. Like if you don't know your value, you're gonna let people walk all over you and treat you any kind of way and give you humbling tactics even though you don't need them. Like because you're already a humble person, but people feel like they need to do it anyway trying to act like he don't got no insecurities he be trying to act so tough like he don't got no insecurities like he don't get jealous I do feel better now but but yeah but anyway that's my rant for the day do y'all ladies feel the same way do y'all think it's okay do y'all think it's cool I don't know, but let me know in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.